So the state of the state attorney general's office won't even defend your actions in the Occupy National thing. So do you concede that you've made some mistakes? No. Well, I don't. I, I, again, there's this is still a, what we agreed to is a temporary restraining order. That's what the state attorney general's office agreed to. There's still a lawsuit to come, and so again, I can't comment on a lot of those things. But um, let me back up and talk about this. For us, this isn't about winning a legal argument. Okay, it really is about. Uh, we have a responsibility for safety, and we had a condition on the plaza where we had multiple people come and ask us, saying, we don't feel safe here. We had state workers saying, you know, we're cleaning up human waste every morning. Uh, we had uh, situations where even the group itself, like about Tennessee, was saying, we, we, would you help on this? We, uh, we looked at and said, actually, it was just a common sense issue. People are camping out. There are no public restrooms. Okay, and there are no public parks in the city, in the metro that I know of, um, or in the state that allow uh, overnight camping. There's a reason they're w without a per without a permit that, are, that they don't have setups for for camping. So there's a reason why you don't go to Centennial Park and camp. There's a reason why that. And it's really a common sense one. There there are no public restroom facilities, and um, I've seen a whole lot of newspaper articles and, and TV news shows. I haven't seen anybody interview our general service workers who've been cleaning up in the morning. If you had it to do over again, would you make the arrest? Well, again, uh, our point was we thought we thought it was important to set up a curfew uh, because of the reason I said it was just common sense. Uh, there were, there's people living, there are people camping down there, and there are no public restroom facilities, and their crime had become an increasing issue. And so we set a curfew, which we, again, felt like it's reasonable. Um, that being said, um, the only way to enforce a curfew is to do what we did. Governor, did the two speakers ask you to remove the protesters? Uh, I had multiple requests, not just from the speaker. I don't blame the speakers. Okay, I mean we, we made a decision, but I had multiple requests, not from the speakers, but also from legislators, legislators, Republican and Democrat. What do you say to the two journalists who were arrested? I thought there was just one. There was also an MTSU. Journalist. Okay, I, I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. I mean, in this case, uh, I think uh, uh, Commissioner Gibbons has communicated with the, uh, with the editor of, the, of one of the journalists and, and said this, uh, when folks came in, um, that particular individual was not wearing media credentials and when all the other media moved to the side, this person moved to the middle. Uh, I think, uh, as he said, he regrets that we didn't ask when he uh, identified himself as a member of the media. He did not identify, he did not, we did not ask for his credentials at that point. And, we regret that that didn't happen. Do you think the arrest kind of drew attention to a situation that wasn't that big? Well, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people say like, "Oh, well, you all are just helping the, you're helping the movement." Well, it's not about for us helping or hurting the movement. It's about we have a responsibility. And think about it. This isn't something. We're not out trying to prove a legal point. We're not. We're not out. This, this isn't fun for us or our, or our highway patrol officers. They have other things to be doing. But we feel like we have a responsibility for safety. And if something happens there, I can promise you this whole group will just be here saying, Governor, how did you let that happen? If you're going to arrest people, don't you also have a responsibility to do it legally? Do you think you've been doing this legally? Governor, could you just look at the camera for me? Sure. Uh, sorry. Oh, you know, again, I'll, I'll, there's a, there'll, there'll be a, a time for a legal hearing on, on these issues, and um, that'll be the proper time to address this. Again, we, had, we acted on a situation that we, where we felt like safety was threatened, where we had multiple requests from legislators and, by the way, from other people who worked in the area saying something needs to happen here. Is it possible, sir, that your attorneys failed you in not advising you that they need to go through the formal rulemaking process? I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I really don't know about that. And again, um, there's the, the legal hearing on this hasn't been, ha hasn't, uh, been argued yet. We agree as a state to a temporary restraining order. Again, because go back to what I, what's our, pur our purpose is to provide a safe environment. And if we can come up with rules that help make that happen, then that, that's, that's, what we're, that's what we're for. We're not, our goal is not to remove people from the plaza. It never has been, never will be, period. Our goal is to provide a safe environment. That not, that's not, not just our goal, that's our legal responsibility. You mentioned safe environment. Was there a specific, no, was there a specific complaint to your administration about something somebody saw out there? Multiple. In what, in uh, we had multiple complaints uh, about, uh, first of all, again, about, um, about, some, about crime uh, from people who were, who were uh, engaged in Occupy Nashville. We had uh, complaints from uh, several people who worked in, in the plaza about uh, things that they had witnessed that they didn't feel like that they should have to. Uh, and then again, we had, again, it's basic 
common sense. We had general service administration workers who were cleaning up human waste because there are no restroom facilities for people overnight. Is the government witness thing a sex act? Is that uh, that's fair. Wouldn't no, it make no. a lot more sense just to provide a little security and clean up rather than arresting 55 people over two nights with 75 troopers? Well, again, the, uh, and th there will be a time because there's a lawsuit right now. I can't comment on everything. But it's hard. If you think, put yourself in the position of a, of a state trooper. You can't go in and say, oh, well, this is somebody that's with this group. This is somebody that's not. Uh, and the group has, uh, made a, has, has said that they would like to stay there indefinitely, 24 hours a day. And at some point in time, um, as the state, we have, you know, we have six million citizens. Did you talk at all about the possibility of having a couple or three troopers there for their protection? Well, you know, we've talked about a lot of things, um, and again, uh, but I, I remember this, like I said, this is, this is something, again, what I just said, this is something that's made, they, the group has said, we would like to stay here indefinitely. Let's say they're there for a year, 24 hours a day. Uh, it's, at some point in time, like I said, we have limited resources in the state. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank sir. you. Thanks. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you. Yeah.